Today we will discuss about the anterior abdominal wall. Here, first of all, we make a diagram. This is defined process. This is costal margin. Here is pubic tubercle, this is pubic bone, this is pubic tubercle, this is pubic crest, here is pubic symphysis, this is pubic symphysis, this is pubic symphysis, pubic crest, this is pubic tubercle. Here is position of anterior superior iliac spine. This is anterior superior iliac spine. From anterior superior iliac spine to pubic tubercle, here is fold of external oblique aponeurosis which forms the inguinal ligament. So this is inguinal ligament extend from anterior superior iliac spine to pubic tubercle. So this is inguinal ligament. This is anterior abdominal wall. Here is position of diaphragm. So it extends from the five process. This is the five process. This is costal margin. This costal margin is formed by the seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth costal cartilages. Here is position of tip of ninth costal cartilage. This is position of tip of ninth costal cartilage. It's like here. From here, defined process. To pubic symphysis here, a vertical groove is present which divides the anterior abdominal wall into two right and left half. Right and left half. So this line is this groove is known as linea alba. So this is linea. Alba. Another group which extends from tip of ninth costal cartilage here to pubic tubercle. This is pubic tubercle. So tip of ninth costal cartilage, this is tip of ninth costal cartilage from here to pubic tubercle. This is linea semiluminis. This is linea semi. Lunaris and this is linea alba. This is linea alba. This is linea semilunaris. This is costal margin. This is inguinal ligament. This is anterior superior iliac spine. This is pubic tubercle. Pubic symphysis. Pubic crest. Here, first of all, we will discuss about the 
skin of the anterior abdominal wall. Skin is smooth. Below the level of umbilicus, here is level of umbilicus, which is present in the median plane. Below the level of umbilicus, this skin sometimes in case of obesity, in case of pregnancy, or in case of large tumor which is present in, in, in uh, intra-abdominal intra -abdominal tumor of large size, these, these things may cause the enormous stretching of the anterior abdominal wall due to pregnancy, due to obesity, or enlarged tumor, which is present in intra-abdominal cavity, these structures may cause the enormous stretching of this anterior abdominal wall, especially below the level of umbilicus. Due to over-stretching, Below the level of hamlicus, some white streaks are formed here. Some white streaks are formed. These white streaks, like this, these are known as linea LB. Cantis, linear albicantis. Another important thing in anterior abdominal wall, there is umbilicus, which lies a little below in medial plane between the gyphoid process and pubic symphysis. It lies little below. this middle point present in this medial line that is linear alba. So this is umbilicus. Here may be depression or elevation. This is the site where this umbilical card is connected with fetus during intraembryonic life. This is important because it forms the water shed line for the lymphatic and venous drainage. That means lymph above this line, this water shed line, goes into the axillary lymph node upward. Below this line, goes to inguinal lymph node and venous blood above this goes upward and below this goes downward. These lymphatic and venous channel do not crosses this water shed line. So it is important and form the water shed line for the venous and lymphatic channel. And it is also important site of Porto cable anastomosis. That means porto systemic anastomosis. There is anastomosis between portal vein and systemic vein. Here. In case of portal obstruction, this venous channel becomes dilated and forms caput medusi. This is caput medusi. Like this. The veins become prominent. Due to dilatation of the vein, this carpet medusi is formed here. So, this is all about the skin of the anterior.